This is the ETBU Sports Network. We're here with head football coach Josh Wergel recapping the 2015 year. Coach, congratulations. You're ASC champions, tri-champions uh, in the American Southwest Conference. Uh, just give us a, a recap of the year and what it feels like to be an American Southwest Conference champion. I, I tell you what, I can be more proud of these young men and, and the way they fight uh, and the way they battle each week. And uh, they represent this university well. Um, winning seven games this year is, is, um, is a mark that's only been hit one other time in our, our school's history. And, and uh, it's our second conference championship. So uh, we, we feel very proud of the year and, and what the job these young men have done. Um, but, you know, it's East Texas Baptist University is a place for champions. It's a, it's a place where greatness and, and excellence is uh, first and foremost on the thoughts of everyone. And that's what uh, they deserve that other football team. They're, they're getting that out of a lot of other athletic teams on campus. And our athletic department is second to none. And uh, we're doing a great job. It's a, it's a great day to be a Tiger in all aspects. Talk about uh, breaking down into two questions here. Your senior class has done a great job here with this program. Your senior offensively, you had five. Three of them were major impacts with Josh Warmington, Kendall Roberson, and Tyler Bates. Just talk about the offensive seniors, and then after that, we'll, we'll talk about the defensive seniors. Well, you, you bet. I mean, when you got um, – well, you got Pat Griffin and Isaac Avery, and both those guys are offensive linemen. So, it, it, it's you know, they, they do all the dirty work so all the other guys get all the uh, newspaper clippings and, and get posted all over the Internet. Um, but, you know, when you talk about Josh Warburton, you talk about Tyler Bates and Kendall Roberson, um, three individuals that have rewritten every offensive stat just about in, in the history of ETBU. And um, over the course of the past three years, they've done a phenomenal job of, of, of taking our offense to new heights. And um, I can't say enough about those, those guys. They've, they've done a phenomenal job uh, putting us in a position each week to win and uh, been consistently doing that for a long time. Those five seniors um, – um, out of those five seniors, three of them are four-year ETBU guys. And, and so uh, very, very proud to have uh, uh, Pat Griffin, Isaac Avery, and Kendall Roberson, and Tyler Bates, and Josh Warburton, and what they've meant and the exposure they've given our, our, our university, uh, the exposure they've given our football program, and what they really mean for us. Um, uh, them, along with those defensive guys, have, have set a, um, a standard for excellence that we want to continue to achieve year in and year out. Uh, but offensively speaking, I mean, uh, when you come to play at ETBU, you're going to come play for the, one of the best offenses in the country. We're going to go extremely fast. And we're going to run in, throw the football, and spread people horizontally and vertically on the field and, and put the ball in playmakers' hands and, and, and play with great offensive linemen that uh, win one-on-one -on -one matchups and allow us to do that effectively. Talk about your defensive seniors this year. You had one of the, the uh, top defenses in the ASC. Tackles for loss and sacks, one of the top – 10 in the nation. Yeah. Talk about those guys on that side of the ball. Uh, defense was just – they were able to put up some crazy numbers in a lot of different areas this year and, and um, played in a lot of different aspects, um, statistically speaking. They were, we were led by those four defensive linemen up front. Um, uh, they were all seniors. And, and when you got Xavier Davis and Jada McClony and David James and Bryce Hale, three of those four guys are, are, are four-year guys here at ETBU that have been with us for four years. And – uh, the leadership they provided, the, the type of uh, production they provided was was awesome. They were the core of what was going on on defense this year. And um, it seemed like every time the ball snapped, one of those gentlemen were in the backfield every time. And and that's how you have 139 tackles for – or excuse me, 113 tackles for a loss um, on a season in 10 games. And that's how you have 39 sacks on a season in 10 games. It's just um, it's remarkable what those four guys have been able to do. Um, this year specifically in their senior campaign, we're able to um, um, turn around a defense that didn't perform the, uh, that well a year ago. And, and, uh, but they were the mainstay. They were the core. They, uh, again, they've left a, a, a standard for the way we want to play defense and how we want to play up front and, and allow those guys to even, you know, when you have 16 interceptions on the season, those guys are affecting that throw and that ball being thrown and the timing in which it was thrown. So even they have an effect on those types of stats. And, um, it's just I can't say enough for those defensive guys and the way they changed the culture on defense. But um, overall, those nine guys have changed the culture of our entire program. One last question. This is your third year, seven games won this year. Uh, three your first year, four your second year, seven this year in a championship. Just talk about uh, your program, why recruits should come play for you, coaching staff overall, and, and why this program is heading in the right direction. Well, you know, East Texas Baptist University is a phenomenal university to go get an education. Uh, you're going to get an education by first-class professors. Um, you're going to live in first-class residence halls. They're second to none. I mean, if you go online, you look at Centennial Hall. I mean, nobody else has full-size beds with granite countertops. And, and, and to eat and, and uh, uh, dining services that we have on campus, it's just the choices are outstanding. And um, so when you bring a young man to come uh, look at a football program, they're looking at so much more. 
And um, at East Texas Baptist University, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to go to school here, why you wouldn't want to send your son or daughter to, to, to uh, come to school to be a student. Uh, football speaking wise, uh, what we've been able to do as a staff um, and as a football program the past three years is, is kind of remarkable. Um, but um, the first winning season since 05, it, it took us three years to build to that. Uh, to win the first championship since 03, it took us uh, three years to build to that. But I would say we're ahead of schedule. Um, you know, we're only losing nine seniors, so a big core is coming back. Um, but um, it's important for us to continue to build with, um, with outstanding freshman classes. That's how we got to this point with the past two years in recruiting. And, and um, you know, in East Texas, there, there's – um, a lot of phenomenal young men that, that um, are great human beings that were the one to earn a degree from a private school inst uh, uh, institution and come play football on a very high level in the American Southwest Conference. And, and there's no better choice than East Texas Baptist University to go get education in a Christ Center environment and play high-level fo uh, high football. All right, Coach, thanks for talking to us today here on the ETB Sportsnet.